Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After Etc. And today I have a fun resin project for you. So I found these knife rests at an antique store. They're from Hungary, they're antiques. I think I've learned how to walk. I love them. They came in pink, blues, and greens. I have a set of 16 of them, 20 of them, all different colors, all three colors. So I love them and I use them all the time, but I wanted some of those bold ones. <laughs> so what I did was I molded these using a plastic container and some silicone mold making material. I will link the tutorial for how to make a silicone mold down below. And then once that mold was done, I poured resin into it and I made brand new copper knife press to go with my silicone resin, not silicone, to go with my resin tablescape. I've made resin salad plates, a tray, and a three-tiered tray to do a whole pretty tablescape. And these knife rests were just the icing on the cake. So just a little um, blurb about knife rests. If you're not big into tablescapes, knife rests were made back in the day when you would have large course meals. So say a 10 course meal, you would have a knife rest on the table to put your silverware on in between courses when they would take your plates away. So that your fork, your spoon, whatever it was, never had to actually touch the table in between courses. So nowadays, they're just a fun little addition to any tablescape. They're like the icing on the cake. And I'm going to show you how I made some new ones. Now, if you do not have knife rests to make a mold out of, you can search eBay, search Etsy, find some, and you can always make more because this is the problem with old antique things is it's often hard to find full sets of something. So you may have found four, but you need eight, you can make eight. You may have found pink, but you want copper. You can really do this with any antique pieces that you find. Now, of course, these are glass and the new pieces are resin, but I'm not using the copper ones with the pink ones. It's fine, it's beautiful. Let's get started. So in order to make these, you are going to need a mold. And once you have your mold, you will need gloves. This one came out of the box. You will need a respirator, all your safety equipment. You will need resin. You don't need very much for these knife rests, probably about 30 milliliters per knife rest. You also need mixing cups, you need stir sticks, and you need paint. Now for these, I wanted them to be really metallic. So I use Tester's brand oil-based copper paint. You can use acrylic paint, and if you use acrylic paint, they will be a little more transparent depending on how much paint you put in. Let's get started. I think I've said that a bunch. y'all it is time to demold so I'm going to start just kind of pulling the mold away I'm gonna see it separate I'm 
one so you can kind of get a corner and I'll pull it out. Beautiful. And that is how you make a mold and then make resin pieces. Now, I'm going to do this plate. So if you want to check that out, I'll leave the link below and you can go take a look at the salad plate. All right, y'all. How pretty do those knife breasts look? So here's a close up. I've made eight of them and I just, I love all the detail. I mean, you can really see every little detail from the original that has transferred from the mold to these resin pieces. I love that you can take old, maybe family treasured pieces, things you find in antique stores, make new copies without having to pay a million dollars. So if you liked this video, give me a like, subscribe, and hit the button to turn on notifications, all the things. I will be back with another video next week. Bye y'all.